everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back, and today I am gonna go through Etsy trends for November. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if this is your first time here and you haven't already, go on over to the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals who are looking to grow their semi-passive income. Um, if you guys have been following me for some time, I go through these trend buzzes every single month to go over the previous trends on Etsy rank. And you have the capability to utilize this tool too if you are upgraded from the free version of Etsy rank. So you will get this with the basic and the pro version. And I highly suggest that you use that $5.99 per month or that $9.99 per month to make that happen because it is well, well worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on over to my computer screen and we will go ahead and get to it. So as anticipated, and I'm already in Trend Buzz, to get there, you just go to reports and click on Trend Buzz. And this is what you will see. Uh, we are on November of 2020. And if you notice, they have these little hot tamales next to every little thing. And if you haven't already, I did discuss uh, what that means in another video, and I'll post that up above. But Etsy does have a new tool called Hot Trends. And what it does is it provides the past 24 hours of data for Etsy on what is trending in search. So if you haven't checked that video out, go ahead and do that and we'll keep going here. The nice thing about that hot tamale is you can see uh, really what's upticking. And this is kind of crazy looking at the all category because you can see these massive spikes in Etsy searches. And this is anticipated, right? We're in the holiday season. People are looking for something special and unique. And so they're going to Etsy because they know that they can find something that they're not gonna find in stores, okay? And you can see that clearly in these hops. Uh, you can see in the all category, personalized gift, gift for him, gift for her, personalized gift, home decor, Christmas ornaments, holiday, holiday decor, jewelry, fall apparel, personalized gifts, wall decor, necklaces, face masks are still up and actually have bumped up even more. Now, I do anticipate that face mask maybe having a surge in traffic because of what's going on in the world right now. So continue to make those face mask designs. Highly suggest if you're in the sublimation field that you work on some sublimation because people are starting to sublimate on masks and they've been doing that for a few months now, but it's continuing to grow in trend, okay? Personalized leather gifts, Christmas stockings, name puzzles, earrings, okay? So these are just in the all category and things that you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and type in SVG and see if anything pops up. And as to be expected, Christmas F SVG is on the rise and so is Grinch SVG. I'm gonna see if anything pops up for digital or invitation or thank you. And none of that does in all. So we're just gonna go ahead and go through and start at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and click on art and collectibles because I know some people uh, do look into the art and collectibles when they're doing their design work. So Grinch SVG, which is a trademark and copyright, keep that in mind, check it out, a trademark and copyright video here on how to use tests if you don't know. Um, and I do have resources on my blog for y'all, but do not stay away from that, okay? Um, wall art, pet portrait, haiku, Naruto, mushroom, Thanksgiving SVG, which was uptrending last month, obviously because of Thanksgiving. I expect a downtrend next month. Uh, for December, custom portraits, uh, paintings, room decor, dog portraits, hunter by hunter. I'm not sure what that is, but it's been trending for a, a quite some time here. Uh, K-pop, art prints, personalized portrait, uh, family portrait, posters, ashtray, photography, Disney SVG, which is obviously a trademark, and so on and so forth, okay? Uh, fall SVG is starting to, to uh, go back on the downtrend there, but you can just go through this and kind of see what um, what's upticking, okay? And if we come down here to craft supplies and tools, which is where a lot of our stuff also is, you can see that holiday is just completely crushing it with 460,000 um, searches last month, okay? Jewelry, gift for kids, Christmas SVG on the rise. Stickers is still trending, but you can see that slow decline going there. Um, tapestry, interestingly enough, has been upticked, and I don't recall seeing that um, before. Plants are on the up and up, Christmas cards. Press on nails is still trending. I'm not sure what in the world is going on with press on nails here, but you can actually use vinyl to press on to nails. And Silhouette actually makes tattoo paper, so that's the thing too. Um, 
Dremel is on the uprise. SVG just categorized uh, by itself is. Sticker, Craft Kits has taken a huge tank. Um, it was at over 100,000 searches last month and is now tanked down. Obviously, Thanksgiving SVG is on the up and up because of November. Um, we have crochet, socks, frog, holiday wreath. Um, the I don't know how to pronounce that, but the Kawi. Somebody, like, please help me. If somebody can do, like, a voice clip and post it in the Facebook group on how you pronounce that, that would be very useful for me. Uh... Planner stickers, uh, resin molds, sticker packs are actually on the up and up. Makeup, plant pot, Christmas garland, anime. Anime is still on the rise here. I don't know what's going on with anime, but keep that in mind. Merry Christmas SVG is starting to uptick. Uh, we all know that Christmas is coming, so you definitely want to focus on, if you haven't gotten anything Christmas up in your shop, I would focus on that certainly for this first week, maybe a little bit of next week, and then be done with it. I am working so hard on this holiday tracker y'all and i'll have that out to you guys by the end of this week i promise you okay um looking at paper and party supplies we have stickers we have advent calendar which is to be expected so the cool thing about the advent calendar is if you're working with die cutting machines you can create an advent calendar that people can cut out of cardstock which would be really really cool um Sticker is up, planner, planner sticker, sticker pack, Christmas garland, uh, a lot of trademark and copyright stuff in here. But you can see these huge uptrends. Stocking tags and advent calendars are just cruising along. Music, F-N-A-F. I'm not sure what that is, um, but it was trending a while back. Printable, business cards, thank you cards, postcards, Christmas stickers, uh, cards. So if you are in the digital print world and you have not jumped on the Christmas card bandwagon, do it now. So a lot right now, a lot of people are going out there, getting their photos taken, getting those Christmas cards out to everybody. So what you can do is you can create that five by seven, okay, and put like frames in it for people to insert their photos with like some really cool Christmassy or Happy New Year stuff in there, okay? So if you haven't done that already and you have a shop around that kind of stuff, um, like cards and greeting cards and things of that nature, that's definitely a good avenue to get in around the Christmas time, okay? Uh, thank you gifts are up, cake toppers, uh, sticky notes, that's interesting. Uh, Animal Crossing stickers, trademark, though I love me some Animal Crossing. Uh, Friendsgiving was obviously up. Custom water bottle, interestingly enough, is up, and I think that's because a lot of people give those for gifts. Custom Christmas cards are up, like we just talked about. Christmas card template Photoshop. So there you go, okay? If you have the ability to make some smart objects where people can drop their photos in a PSD file, do that, okay? Personalized stickers. Uh, Coca Melon, which is going to be the hot toy of the year. Nerf gun. Um, both trademark issues. And those are like the huge uptrends that I see uh, as far as spikes go. So not too bad, all right? And the last thing I will take a look at while we're here is weddings. Okay, and we have engagement gifts and bridesmaids gifts and things along, uh, things of those that of that nature. So um, personalized socks, interestingly enough, okay? Custom socks, that's on the up and up, probably because of the cold weather. Weather. And uh, paint by number, I don't know why that's in wedding, is on an uptick, so if you guys do anything crazy like that, um, you know, keep that in mind. So that's all I got in the trend buzz. Obviously, you should have jumped on the Christmas train probably about two months ago. You always wanna stay about two to three months ahead of the game with the holidays. So what I'm gonna be providing to y'all is a holiday tracker that you can utilize that will tell you what months you need to start working on the holidays and when. That way you can keep your focus on if you are providing holiday files and you're not just niched into one certain thing, um, you can do that. But like I talked about in a previous video, you don't want to just focus on holiday content and seasonal content because you're going to see way too many ebbs and flows in your income and your income will not be that um, consistent. So definitely go watch the video on evergreen content if you haven't and I'll post that up above. But basically you want to make sure that you're creating stuff that's going to sell all year round, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments, let me know in the uh, Facebook group, and let me know if there was any trends that surprised you. 
And also, if you've gotten something out of this video and you're still watching, please go ahead and click on like and subscribe below, as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And like I said, if you all need anything, feel free to reach out. If not, I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.